Hey guys, welcome back to the Spooky Island. We're back for another reaction. So today I'm here reacting to episode 6 of The Devil's Plan. I had to just check there to make sure it was episode 6. It is. Um, I have been loving this show. You guys have been supporting this show a lot. So thank you very, very much. I hope you continue to support the show. And I'll be finishing this show off. I believe there's 12 episodes in total. There's over 11. Or, I think there's 12. I think there's 12. Um, last episode ended on a massive cliffhanger i am very very excited because there's a lot of um there's a lot of kind of expectation on these first few minutes of this episode the way that the ending um happened in episode five there's a there's a, there's a lot so i am very very excited i feel like there's gonna be a betrayal there there is a betrayal somewhere i don't know who i don't know what i don't know um someone has done something and it could be miscommunication it could be a betrayal but we are going to see what happens um this episode is an hour long i imagine we're going to get this game and then in this episode we'll probably end up getting a prize game as well the prize games are always so much fun because everyone actually works together you can see that people are trying their best so this could be a very very good episode i feel like last episode I think so far, episode 4 has been my favourite, but this has so much potential to probably be my favourite as well. So we're going to see what happens here. So without further ado, let's get straight into the episode. I'm going to start off straight away. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, I mean, I'm going to give my thoughts after we've reacted to this intro. What has she done? So... So people, okay, so let me get it straight. The YouTuber has seen, or has seen, he said that he, he saw them, him and the other guy talking and he assumed that they were, or he was leaking their information. There's a little bit of chance that he hasn't done that and there's a big communic, like there's a big misunderstanding. I think... I don't know what she's done. What has she done? Okay. Has she leaked the numbers? Has she leaked the numbers? Oh no, oh no. She has, because she's not saying no. Okay, let's see. Okay, so... I mean, the assumption I was going off of is that he... He did. I feel like it's more likely that, the, that he did because they are together in a group, like the minority group. But there is a small... So she does. What did he say? We need to know. That's going to be the confirmation. What did he say? Oh, this is where she gets upset. Man. This is a very difficult game. I'm going to give my thoughts after we... Let's see, because... Okay, if did not leak the numbers, we'll have five points. If, if he did not leak the numbers, they would have seven points. Or if he... Okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. He didn't. He didn't do it. That means they're both... Oh my god, they're both going home. They're both going home. She got him out. 
Oh my god, she just, she just, she just eliminated both of them. He didn't leak their numbers. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, let me skip this thing, I'm going to tell you my thoughts here. Whoa. So, they both have five. So that means he did not leak their numbers. He didn't do it. But what's happened, I think, is I'm sure we're going to get an explanation. I think he hasn't leaked the numbers. Most people, including myself last episode, jumped the gun and thought that the villain, you know who I'm talking about, the one who has zero points, has leaked their numbers because they've always been a part of a team. Going off of that assumption, she has spoke to them. They have also said to her that they think it's a good idea if it's more likely that he's leaked their numbers than not. So she has told them their numbers to try and basically cover for herself for the missed points that they're going to get. But that didn't happen because he didn't leak their numbers. Jesus Christ, man, they've both been, they've both gone. Because he's going to lose all of his and she's going to lose hers. So that means they're both gone. Oh. I'm devastated. Yeah. Yeah. But what did he say? What did he say? I predicted that they teamed up and exchanged numbers. I think most people did. He said there's nothing I can do about that. We're going to get an explanation. To play. Yeah, that is true. I know, I do believe that. They've been in an alliance from the start, so I think most people would think... Let's see. Oh my god. He said that she betrayed him. It all happened due to my misunderstanding. <laughs> okay, so he thought... Figure it, figure it. We were going into the room. So he thought she betrayed her and he... He was warning his fellow teammate. Okay, okay, I understand what's happened. There's just been a big mis miscommunication and it's it's hurt. It hurt a lot of people. At the end of the day, those two have kind of trusted each other and... Okay. I mean, the thing is, I will, I will, I will remember, is that he did accidentally, and I thought it was on purpose. Oh, it's sad because they both didn't. They both trusted each other and she kind of got swayed in a way to think that he was, oh, I was going to say she must be really upset. Man, maybe she'll have a redemption arc, but right now, she has a 
eliminate both of them. She got both of them out. And it was, it, at the end of the day, it comes down to being a big commu- communication, you know. Players with four or fewer points, so there's no one with four or fewer than those two, and there. Because she was only on, got one piece, she only had one piece. Man. Because, yeah, because you come last, man. Uh, it's sad, it is, because they both didn't deserve to go out here. He is probably the one person that I think could have actually gone on one. I really do think he's the one person who could have gone on a one because he's the only person on the, the the villain team or the underdog on not the underdog team. He's the only one that I genuinely think I was worried about because of how smart he actually is. I mean, they're not, not, she's not wrong. Oh, Ethan Orbe's crying. I'm gonna stop. Oh, wait, no. I'm not gonna stop it here because she looks mad. Why are you crying? <laughs> she's mad. <laughs> she's not mad. Is she mad? She, she's very mad. Um, I'm gonna stop that there anyway. I'm going to continue reacting. I just want to give my thoughts so that we can get past this part of the episode. I didn't think it was going to open so dramatically. That's a very big loss, I think. He definitely could have gone on and done very, very well. And I feel like she didn't actually deserve to get... They Both they, both of them didn't deserve to get put out that way. Um, but I think what, what has happened is there's a big misunderstanding. People have assumed that he was, was leaking information and then... He, it started with him thinking that um, the girl who, um, you know, the girl who kept rolling in prison, the one who's gone to prison already, he thought that she was going to portray, so then he pulled the other guy aside on his teammate um, and whispered, and then the YouTuber thought that he was portraying them, and then that made the other everybody else on the underdog team speak to the girl and then the girl gave up the numbers so it's a whole kind of it's many many different aspects many many different people um and at the end of the day i think it's a big misunderstanding she never wanted that to happen i do feel very sad that he or both of them have gone um but anyway i'm gonna stop waffling on with the episode on with the episode